okay um hello one question 29 um like i said before if you've not hit the subscribe button please just do hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell beside so you can get updates when we release this content now question 29 says in a certain school the number of girls was 240 and the total number of pupils was 540 what was the ratio of boys to girls in the school so to solve this question um all you need to do is um okay so solution now it said what is the ratio of boys to girls okay so one meant to know that um boys girls was given as um 240 boys was not given but the total it's 540 therefore um boys is going to be um that's the total minus girls the number of girls so that will give us some um, 540 minus 240 so the total number of boys it's going to be 540 minus 240 is going to give us um that's um three five minus two that's 300 okay so now that means boys to girls it's um boys is 300 and the girls um they are 240 so reducing dates what can divide zero can cancel out the zeros cancel out so this is going to be 30 is 224 okay so what else can divide six can go six into 30 is going to be um that's five is a is in ratio of um 16 to 24 it's going to be four so this is the final answer so the ratio of um boys to girls in the school it's um d so d is the correct answer here okay so um the next question says what is the value of the equation below now remember your board mass so we're going to be applying board mass in that so we will be dealing with the one of uh, the question of and bracket first which says um two one over four we will deal with this first because of board mass so this is going to be one and a half plus two whole number one over four times now remember three and a half three and a half it's um three and a half it's the same thing as two times three six six plus one is going to give us seven over two so this is going to be times 7 over 2 times 12 divided by 3 over 4. Now, remember, we are supposed to treat the um, the of first. First of all, we are treating the bracket, but we we'll take the of first. So 2 here is going to be 1. 2 into 12 is going to be 6. So this is going to be presented as 1 and half plus Two whole number one over four times seven times six is going to give us 42 divided by this will be three over four now the next rule in board mass is since we are still working on the brackets treat divide so this is going to be one whole number one one and a half plus in bracket two one over four times this will be 42 now the divide is going to change to times it will now become 4 over 3 okay so close your bracket 3 here it's going to be 1 3 into 42 3 into 4 will give us 1 and carry a 1 3 into 12 it's going to give us um that's 4 so this is going to be 1 and half plus this will be 2 whole number 1 over 4 is the same thing that's um 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, that's 9 over 4 times 14 times 4 over 1. Okay, all these are over 1. This is also over 1. So, 4 can cancel out. So, we have um, 1 and a half plus um, 9 times 14 is um, going to give us 14 times 9. 
nine times four is um thirty six six carry three uh, nine times one it's nine um plus um three it's going to and uh, nine times four is that six six carry or three nine times one is now going to be nine plus three that's going to be twelve so this is going to be plus one two six so adding these two numbers up is going to be one two seven and a half so this is our correct answer so d is our correct answer here so that takes us to the next question which says um the triangle RST below is an associate triangle. Um, the length RT is equal to RS, which is equal to 10 cm, and ST is equal to 12 cm. Find what is the area of the triangle. Now, remember your formula for area. Your formula for area is given at half times base times height. Now, are we giving the base? Yes, the base is 12. Are we giving the height? No, we are not giving the height because this is the perpendicular height of the triangle. So the height is not given. Now, remember this is an isosceles triangle. We can divide it into two and get a 90 degree here. So this means we can represent this triangle like this. Half of it. This is now half of the triangle. Because what we are trying to do is get our height. This is 10 cm. Remember, from here to here is 12 cm. Therefore, this is half of it, which is going to be 6 cm. Why our height is now going to be x. Okay, so now to get our x, because this is a right angle triangle, we are now going to employ Pythagoras theorem. Now, Pythagoras theorem says our hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. So now this is going to be 10 square is equal to 6 square plus x square. Okay, so this is going to be 100 is equal to 36 plus x squared. This is now going to be 100 minus 36 is equal to x squared. This is going to be um, 100 minus 36 is giving us 64 is equal to x squared. Therefore, our x is going to be square root of 64, which will be, um, that will be 8. So our x, which is the height of our triangle, is equal to 8. So this is 8. So now we cannot find the area of our triangle, which states half base times height, which should not be half. Our base is um, 12, and our height is 8. 2 here, it's 1. 2 into 12, it's going to be, um, that will be give us 6. So 6 times 8 is going to give us 48. Now remember, it's area, so you have to put centimeter squared. Okay, so I think the correct answer here, it's um, B. B is the correct answer, so we'll circle B. So that takes us to the next question, which says um, 32. The diagram below is a net of a solid. Which of the following statement is true about the number of faces, edges, and vertices of the, of, for the solid? Now, let's count the number of faces. Now, remember, if you have a shape like this and you are to fold it, there will be no top. So remember that it doesn't have a top. So the first thing is... The back of this place is going to be face 1. When well, we count the faces, this is going to be face 1. Now, the back of this triangle will be face 2. The back of this triangle is going to be face 3. The back of this is going to be face 4. And the back of this is going to be face 5. So we have um, 5 faces. So all the backs, this is face 1, face 2, face 3, face 4, and face 5. Okay? So let's count the number of vertices first before we count a oh, okay let's count the edges now this is age 1 this is 1 this is going to be age 2 this is going to be age 3 this is going to be age 4 this is going to be age 5 this is going to be age 6 this will be 7 this will be 8 this will be 9 this will be 10 this will be 11 this will be 12 this will be 13, and this will be 14. So it has 14 edges. So right there, I can already see B is my answer. But let's count the number of vertices to be sure that it's going to be 10. Now the vertices are going to be, this is vertex 1. The vertices are this point where two lines meet. This is 1. Um, this is um, 2. This is um, 3. This is um, 4. This is going to be 5. This is going to be 6. This is going to be 7. 
this will be eight this will be nine and um, this will be um ten so we have ten vertices okay so that means our final answer here it's going to be um it's going to be that b b is the correct answer so we have um 14 edges and 10 vertices 10 vertices so b is the correct answer okay so that will take us to question um 33 which says um which of the following statement is true for both a trapezium and a rhombus now let's draw our trapezium remember your trapezium um and this is your rhombus your rhombus is almost the same thing as your kite okay so now let's look at our options okay it says opposite sides are equal now for a rhombus yes they are equal but for a trapezium no they are not equal remember it says which is true for both so our option a is wrong now it says have only one pair of par uh, parallel sides now um a a trapezium has one um, pair of parasites, but a rhombus has two pair of parasites. So this is wrong. Then the sum of the interior angle is 360. Yes, for any quadrilateral, any four-sided shape, the sum of the quadrilateral and um, the interior angles is 360. So this is correct. The diagonals bisect um, at right angles. No, this is wrong. So because the diagonals of this does not bisect at right angles. So our final answer is uh, C. Okay, so the next question, it's um, question 34. Now, 34 says, the figure has been drawn accurately. What is obtuse angle MPL? Now, we want to calculate angle MPL. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, if you have a straight line, and um, let's assume this is your bisector. This is 90 degree. Now, from here to here, it's 90. Now, 45 degree is going to fall in between. If you divide 90 into 2, that means from here to here, this place is 45. So when you calculate from here to here, it's going to be 90 plus 45, and that will give you 135. Now, when you look at this angle, when you look at this angle, 33 cannot be our answer because it's supposed to be between 90 and 180. 180 cannot be the answer because 180 is a straight line. 213 is not our answer because 213 is not uh, an obtuse angle. So our correct answer here is going to be 147, which is a D. Okay? So the next question says um, question 35. Now, please, if you've not hit the subscribe button, please do so because that's how you stay updated with us. Now, question 35 says, I'm in a bot for materials, four meters of materials at um, sh um, 250 shilling per meter. Okay, so she bought four meters at two fifty shillings per meter. Okay, so um, she, let's represent what Amina bought. That means Amina bought um, four meters at two fifty shillings per meter, which means for the four meters, four meters, she bought two fifty times four, and that's one thousand shillings. Okay. Then six buttons at eight shillings each. So for six buttons, six buttons is going to be equal to six times four, and that's um, 48 shillings. Okay, that's the price. This is one. Okay, then um, she now bought um, sewing thread for 30 shillings and made a dress. So thread. Let's call it one thread. Okay, that's um, 30 shillings. That's equal to 30 shillings. 30 shillings. She now made the dress. So she said, a, the question says, a similar dress cost 1,500 shillings in the shop. How much did she save by making the dress? Okay, so what we will do is, in this question, we are trying to know if there is a similar dress that costs 1,500 shillings and she, um, all her cost for the dress has been listed below which includes this, this and this. So we are going to sum up this and know the total. So this is going to be 1,000 plus 48 plus 30. This will give us 48 plus 30 is going to give us um, 1,000 plus 48. This will be 
1048. When we add 30, we're going to get 8, 7, 0, and 1. So this is going to be 1078. Okay, so um, when you get this, um, the next thing you need to do is um, okay, so you now do 1500 subtracted, subtract um, 1078. So you will now get how much she saved. Now, five can't, zero can't go, so you borrow one from here, here will be four, make here 10, 10, borrow one here, here will become nine, and make here 10. 10 minus 8 is going to be 2. 9 minus 7 is going to be 2. 4 minus 0 is going to be um it's going to be 4. And um 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. So she's um Amina is going to save um 422 shillings. So this is our final answer, and the correct answer here it's D. So, like I said, we're gonna be releasing several videos. Please hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned with us. Thank you very much.